Live from the Money Show in San Francisco, California, I'm Adrian Mans. I'm here today with Carly Garner of CarlyTrading.com. And I was just asking her about futures trading and, and the fact that a lot of the people I've been talking to are afraid to get into the futures market because of the value of just a one-point move, right? right? What's the alternative? Right. So actually, we've been talking about micro futures for a long time. The CME recently listed a product. It's an e-micro, e-mini S&P, and it's great. But there's also e-micro currencies and e-micro metals. And so the point of these contracts are it, it, they still have leverage just like the regular full-size futures contracts, but they're such um, small contracts that the profit and loss per point is reduced dramatically, and so is the stress and the risk and all those sorts of things. So the new E-mini micro on the S&P is $5 a point. So even in a market that's swinging like what we're, we've been seeing right. lately in the S&P, if the s and is up or down 10 points, it's only $50 profit and loss. If it's up or down 20, it's only 100 So okay. a trader can... They can do a couple of things. They can widen their time horizon, whereas like with the fully leveraged full-size S&P futures, it's a little scary to hang on and write out a 20, 30-point move. But with the micro, you can have a big-picture scenario. Like maybe you think the market might be bottoming out. You could go along a micro, and it's not going to ruin your day if you're 20, 30, maybe even 100 points early because you can stomach, most people can stomach that sort of right. volatility and hang on for the long run. Also, it's a great way to kind of paper trade without... Um, actually paper trading because paper trading is, it, it ignores the mental aspect of trading which is like 95% yeah, of trading. Yeah. I've never met an unprofitable yeah. paper exactly. trader. Oh yeah. I know it's yeah. crazy but trading with the micro there's a little skin in the game so you yeah. still get a sense of the, the emotions and the decision making when money's on the line. What's the, the transaction cost on that look like the ticket charge? So a, a lot of people ask that. The, the reality is I mean as I'm a broker and so I get asked this question a lot. The reality is it's the same cost for the brokerage firm whether you're trading a mini right. or a micro. So the commission really isn't going to be any less unless your broker is willing to work for free. Right. But the exchange does offer lower fees. So like whereas the Yemeni S&P round turn exchange fee is 260 or in that ballpark, uh, the micro fee, I don't know exactly what it is, but I think it's like 20, 30 cents. So it's dramatically lower on the, the exchange fee, but the commission's probably going to be pretty similar. I think just the benefit of the psychology not right. getting the best it is probably going to make is, up the difference. Right. And the reality is the e-micro is probably not something you want to scalp with or you shouldn't really be short-term day trading so the commission shouldn't be too much of a baggage because it's more of a longer term trade or at least a swing trading vehicle okay and if if viewers want to get a hold of you and and find out more about trading with you as a broker sure yeah, yeah that would be great i mean we'd love to have you uh decarlytrading.com you can find all kinds of free educational material we, we like to make sure i mean we're brokers that's how we make our living but we want to make sure people really understand what they're getting into because trading isn't for everybody and you really right. need to educate yourself excellent all right carly thank you Thank you. For the Money Show, I'm Adrian Mance.